John Paul Young innocently arriving for a countdown performance. But in truth, he's about to walk into the lion's den. Countdown's live studio audience played a big part in the show's energy. Sometimes they're encouraged to take their interest in the artists a little too far. John Boy Young's Yesterday's Hero is a sort of, wow, how's that? I remember his first appearance. He was, yes, they, they revved up the audience or something and all the chicks came and ripped his shirt off and he was just there, sort of a bit flabby, as everybody was in the 70s, a bit flabby, bare-chested, trying to sing. Oh, it was hilarious. Oh, I certainly wasn't what you call a fine specimen and there I was with no shirt, you know, so I was horrified, you know, that this had happened to me. I'm sure Meldrum had a, a hand in it somewhere. He'd wound everybody in the studio up. I was the only one in that studio that didn't know what was going to happen. No, I did nothing. Now, if John's saying that is my fault, he is totally wrong. So he organised for all the kids to basically attack me and, uh, and drag me down off the stage and rip the shirt off me, which they duly did, and, uh, and I was petrified. John had gone out and bought the most expensive shirt they'd ever paid for. And he was so proud of it. I do remember standing there with the cuffs and nothing else and thinking, Jesus, this is not good. This is not good at all. I hate the music, the people say I sing my song in tune. I just can't sing it without you. Ooh, ooh. I hate the music. They were experimenting with their show, with their media, and saying, you know, well, can we turn this guy into a star? Love is in the air. Every sight and every sound. And I didn't realise until many years later. I didn't realise that this was all this devious plot. Don't know if I'm being wise, but it's something that I must believe in. And it's there when I look in the right. Hey, it's nice. It's nice. I'm glad they had the, I'm glad they had the brains to do it. 